everybody is working from home, we need to feng shui your office and your workspace. I'm Patricia and I help women turn their homes into powerhouses for manifesting money, miracles and magic into their homes using the ancient practice of feng shui. I make new videos each week, but be sure to hit that red subscribe button and click the bell to get notified each time a new video is posted. I am so excited to share with you. Now, the work from home life has become all too real for so many of us. And even those that were told that they would never or couldn't ever work from home are now working from home. So how is your work and office situation? I want us to play a game here today. I want you to imagine if your boss or an important client had to come over to you, to your workspace for a meeting. What would it be like? What would their first impression be? We want to start thinking about like, how does it represent you and your business? Maybe you're going, ah, no, I never let anyone come and see where I'm working. Um, maybe it's because it may, it, you could be like, yes, of course they're ready for people to come in. It's really not neat, it's really tidy, but perhaps there's loads of clutter or um, the place is really dark and you're like jammed into a little corner. And maybe the artwork on the walls is very dull and dour. The most important thing is your office should not be an afterthought. It shouldn't be a space that is just like jammed into a corner. You know, the place that you work from is one of the most potent places because we want to make sure that it is the most productive, profitable, creative place that you're gonna spend for nearly eight hours a day in this space. So it is crucial that you get it right. I really want to encourage you to start to think about your office space as a priority. Now, in my guide, How to Feng Shui Your Office, I'll tell you things that you can do to create an office that's really magnetic and attractive to prosperity, success, new clients, abundance, and all the good things. And you can download that guide at patricialohan.com forward slash office. Now, in the video, I'm going to do something a little bit different because we're gonna talk about what you should not have in your office. Now, what you shouldn't be doing with your office is number one, taking the space for granted. The, number, the second thing you shouldn't be doing when you're sitting in your workspace or your office is sitting with your back to the door. The third thing is sitting on a wonky chair. <laughs> the fourth thing is having loads of cacti or spiky plants in your office space. The fifth thing is not to have lots of things in your workspace that are unrelated to your work. They're not aligned to your vision and your goals. And the sixth thing is you don't want to see a cluttered screensaver or a desktop. And the seventh thing is having unrelated things like your suitcases, your kids' toys, or your unrelated files in your office. Now let's go back and see why these things are not going to be the optimum things to do or have in your workspace. The first thing is we don't want to take this space for granted. The reason we want to don't want to take your office space for granted is because you spend so much time there. First of all, you may spend up to eight hours a day sitting in this space. You want it to be the most inspiring space possible that is feels that you can be as creative, that you can be as productive, you feel comfortable, and every day when you walk into it and you create, sit down, you're like, yes, I'm ready to go. That's why we don't wanna take it for granted. The second thing is don't sit with your back to the door. The reason we don't recommend sitting with your back to the door is first of all, if you're sitting with your back to the door, you're in a very vulnerable position. Basically, the energy is coming in and coming behind you, so you can't see what's coming. You're not in your power position and you're literally in a place of vulnerability. There's almost like that fight or flight energy where it's like, oh, 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 that can really, like you're like, something's coming. So you wanna really set yourself up ideally where you sit with your back to the wall and you can see the door, you can see what's coming at you. You're prepared. Now, the third thing is we don't want you to sit on a wonky chair. So 
Our chairs and what we sit on is this, is creating that sense of stability. We want to feel stable and supported every day when we work. And sitting on a wonky chair or a chair that's kind of battered without any support is not going to give you that. So energetically and just for the good feeling of it, you want to have a chair that says, I'm the boss, this is the boss chair. And I feel really, really strong and supported in my chair. Now, the fourth thing is not to have lots of cacti in your office. So it's totally fine to have plants in your office because they represent growth. And even images of plants is a great thing to have in your office, but not cacti or those spiky plants. Why not cacti? Well, because they're like, they're quite, they repel the positive energy. And we don't want anything repelling any positive energy out of your workspace. Now, the next thing that we talked about was number five, not to have stuff in your office that is not related to your work. So we're talking about your suitcases, your kids' toys, unrelated files, you know, all of your husband's or your partner's books, um, you know, that they love reading, or your past career's documents. All of those things in your office are blocking the energy that you're calling in. And they're literally also distracting your concentration. When you come into your workspace, you want to feel focused, creative, productive, because that's where you're going to do your best work. And anything like that is really depleting your energy. So it's time for a big clear out of anything that is unrelated to your work. You want to start to have things in your office that make you feel, yes, I love this and I feel great. Now, the sixth thing that we talked about was seeing a cluttered screensaver on your desktop. The same thing as coming into your office and seeing loads of things unrelated to your work is this, when you come onto your desktop and you look and you see all these files and it's like, whoa, overwhelm. We really need to get that organized. Now, my quick trick for this is getting all of them, selecting all files and popping them into one folder and giving myself a lot, myself a lot of time to sort through them and just delete, delete, delete. We want to create on, have on your um, screensaver something that is super inspiring. Maybe it's your vision board. Maybe it's a picture of your family. Maybe it's something that you're working towards and you're calling in that's your screensaver that reminds you of why you are doing this work. So that's an important thing is that you want to make sure that there's space on your screensaver so that there's more space for calling in things and the same goes for your desk. Now your workspace needs to be and should be aligned with where you want to go in your career. The artwork in your space should be aligned and inspiring as well. Now your office really should be ready for your boss or a client to be able to walk in, sit down and sign some paperwork even if that will never happen. Because honestly, it will just make you feel so good when you come into your workspace every single day. I know that things changed so much when I started to use these exact things in my workspace and it can happen for you too. So take the time to create an office space that will accelerate your productivity, your profitability, and your creativity. It's so, so, so important because it's going to accelerate your career forward, creating that space that aligns with where you are going. Now, my guide to feng shui your office um, gives you loads more helpful tips to create an office full of positive energy that attracts prosperity, abundance, and all the good things into your life, your career, and your business. And you can dive, download that guide at patricialohan.com forward slash office. Now, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified every time I make, make a new video. I cannot wait to share with you.